click on it so it'll get larger. Hi, welcome to my Friday video. This is Louise. Hi. We went to high school together and now I'm just here making a video with her because I'm going to miss her when I move back to college. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a video on things that we realize now that we're older. For starters, have you heard that song Too Close by Next? Yes, that is extremely sexual. I yeah. would sing that all the time. I didn't know that song was about a guy getting a boner while dancing with a girl. I was four. I was five because 93. Oh, I was extra young. How do I know that song? Because it was a good song. I mean, even at the beginning part, the guy's like, I wonder if she knows I'm hard right now. What did that mean to me when I was like four, four or five? I sang it all Nothing. the time. I remember I could sing the Lady Marmalade song and I didn't know Ule Bukushe and Bekwa means do you want to sleep with me? In Hunchback in Notre Dame, right there. You know like that that evil dude, the evil He was trying like, to the rape. Evil priest. Yeah, he was, he was trying, trying to rape Esmeralda. Yeah. I had no idea. And he's literally on a high horse trying to get in this gypsy's gypsy woman's clothing. Mm -hmm. I can't say pants because she wasn't wearing pants. In Hey Arnold, there was like an episode when they're doing like synchronized swimming and the coach said circumcised swimming. You know how like I guess I read somewhere that uh, Scooby Doo that teaches you that the monsters are the people, or like monsters are actually people. You know what I mean? Like in daily life. It's like a lesson to learn. Like monsters aren't mythical beasts, it's people that are on this earth that are like effed up. Oh, whoa. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Right now. Shoot. Beauty and the Beast. Bestiality. When I was little, I didn't know that gay people existed. Like, up until I was about 12, gay people never existed to me. Like, Harry Styles, he was alive at the same time as me, but I didn't, I didn't know that he existed. Like that, you know? No. Or like you, like we didn't know each other, oh. but we still existed. Oh, okay. Like that. Yeah, it's just like you're just not aware of it. Yeah, I'm just not you aware. You just don't know yeah. yet. Okay, so, got it. When I found out, I was just like, oh, okay. I guess it's a new thing now. Oh. Now going to the future, like, woo. I thought if you spoke English, that attributed to your ethnicity. So when people asked me, what are you? I'd be like, I'm half Filipino and half American. That's what I thought too. Yeah. <laughs> And then I thought anybody, okay, this sounds terrible. I was just so, not, like, I guess I was so sheltered that anybody that had was slightly more tan and didn't have blonde or brown hair that looked kind of Asian was just Asian to me. When I was little, like in elementary school, I would tell people, I was like, I would name all the Asians, basically, and say that I was that. I'd be like, oh, I'm Filipino, I'm Japanese, I'm Chinese, I'm like that. I would tell what? people that I was all those things. And then American, I thought American was an ethnicity. I think when I was younger, I didn't know Titanic was a real thing. Yo, I thought Titanic was fake too. <laughs> I think I like part of me did know it was real. So part of me thought that the camera people were literally on board with Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, it's like a documentary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't remember the Titans was real. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Explanation for those of you who have heard this story, probably not a lot, but we were watching Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans? Okay. We were watching it on the bus back from field trip. Shh. No, because you're gonna make it sound yes. like stupid. Okay, I didn't know this was like based off of a legit movie. And even then, some movies based off of real time events or books like that, they tend to change things. So when that one dude, I don't know his name, he gets into a car accident and becomes a paraplegic, I was thinking maybe, you know, movie magic is gonna do some miracle but thing. No, no, wait! <laughs> They're just gonna make him walk again. I didn't know they were gonna make it so sad. I know what paraplegic means. I know what it means to be paralyzed from the waist below and stuff like that. It's just, you know what I'm talking about, about right? I'm not stupid, I promise. So when did you realize that the Tooth Fairy didn't exist? I don't think, oh, fun fact, I don't think I've ever believed in oh, either, like, I, Santa or- I found out when I looked underneath my pillow and there was my tooth and no money. And then for Christmas, I found out that Santa wasn't real because Santa Claus's handwriting looked like my mom's. <laughs> yeah, that's our realizations in life. If you guys have any realizations at all. The Scooby-Doo one really got me, y'all. <laughs> Put a comment in there if you want. If not, I, I don't even know who's watching this, to be honest. But yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye.